So, I had to make a train. I mean, the update pretty much demands it. So, I thought I'd share some things I learned in the process. I'll also be showing you the Bowie trick, which allows you to add more wheels to your trains than you're normally able to. First, if you want to know the basics of how trains work, I covered in my video about the 0.5 full steam update. I'll also be putting out a video dedicated to trains that covers them in more detail. Tip number one, figure out a theme for your build. So this is probably good advice for any build, not just for trains. I was inspired by the Orient Express, so I decided to make something luxurious. I also decided to make a color scheme based on the color blue. So what's better than just going out to build a train is going out to build a specific kind of train. Once you know the general idea behind your build, it becomes much easier to come up with creative ideas. Tip number two, detail your locomotive. By detailing, I mean adding things to it once the general shape is done. Real life steam locomotives have a bunch of mechanical parts on the outside and Create has a ton of great looking industrial items that you can use, like shafts and brackets. The new update added steel girders, which also look great. What I did on my train was use basins as part of the boiler because of their industrial look. I also put steam engine blocks down by the wheels to make the whole thing look more mechanical. And lastly, don't forget the bells and whistles. Tip number three, decorate your interior. You want your build to look nice on the inside too, right? I decided that I wanted to use some of the new items from the 0.5 update. So I found a use for placards. They go well with clocks and any other block that you want to make look like a painting. Surprisingly, the new rose quartz lamps contrast really nicely with the blue color scheme. I never thought I'd use pink in a build. They really are a great addition to the mod and have a sort of art deco feel to them. Tip number four, use trap doors as walls to save space. I used the new train trap doors as walls in the sleeper car to save space. Otherwise, the rooms would have been much smaller or I would have had to make the train wider, which I wanted to avoid. Dark oak would have probably looked good as well. And I've seen people make the exterior walls out of trapdoors too. Finally, the bogey trick. The mod currently limits you to only having two bogies per train carriage, which is unfortunate because locomotives can have many more wheels than what two bogies can provide. To get around this, only glue two bogies to your carriage and have any other bogies remain unglued to the main structure, but keep in mind that you'll need to have at least one block attached on each bogey. When you assemble the train, it'll look like they're all part of the same carriage. I hope you found these tips useful. I'll be leaving a schematic of my train in the description so that you can have a look at it in your own world. Thank you for watching.